Hello friends, uh, uh, I am in uh, Seattle in USA and uh, I am a survivor of brain stroke in year 2021. I survived because of my positive psychology and because of the power of subconscious mind. And uh, now I am going uh, out with my wife to enjoy the nature in Seattle. I am recording and while enjoying the nature in some places in and around uh, so, I would appreciate if you could uh, like my video and subscribe to my YouTube channels. You can hear the sounds of uh, uh, Boeing. Uh, Boeing. Uh, uh, has uh, some challenges currently globally uh, some uh, some uh, some issues are happening in uh, Boeing but uh, Boeing is very reputed in the world so this is the home where uh, uh, my wife my son my wife are living this is the home now I'm going for a walk I want to enjoy the nature. I am basically a storyteller and I keep, I create stories and share with uh, humankind. Yeah, my name is uh, Professor M. S. Rao. I have authored uh, 53 books including the award winning book titled uh, See the Light in You for which the noble read His Holiness Dalnam has written a foreword. I have 43 years of diversified experience including Indian Air Force, business, teaching and training. I am a late bloomer, dyslexic, ADHD, OCD and adding to the challenges, uh, I had a brain stroke in the year 2021. Despite all the uh, challenges, uh, I rose from the ashes like a phoenix in the year 2021. My right portion of the body was totally paralyzed. For one year I had lots of challenges. Now I am able to walk. But I still have problems. I can't type with my right hand. I can't eat with my right hand. I don't have two-wheeler. I don't have four-wheeler. I still belong to a lower middle class family. I was born in a toxic family and uh, grew up in a toxic environment. I was born on October uh, 31st in a tiny village in India. So I share certain aspects uh, while walking and while, and while enjoying the nature and I am I, sharing right now with you. So now, see, the leaves are falling down because uh, we entered uh, fall season. The color of the leaves change here. It's a very beautiful place, Seattle. But it's very unique because uh, co color of the leaves change. And Seattle is a very uh, beautiful city. People are uh, amicable and adjustable. And uh, Seattle is known as uh, Emerald City. And uh, Seattle and uh, Be Bellevue are like twin cities of uh, uh, Telangana state in India. So I am from India. I am an Indian citizen. And uh, I came to US for the first time with my wife. There was a story also about my challenges about uh, H1B visa. Around five years back, uh, I, my wife and I applied for a visa, and uh, uh, my uh, visa was uh, kept on uh, hold uh, because of my military background. Uh, I am an Indian Air Force veteran. So, because of that uh, 
uh, Air Force background and uh, hair, hair headquarters in Delhi uh, uh, verified uh, my credentials then uh, 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 ES authorities uh, uh, sent an email and also called me over the phone to come and get visa stamped I felt very happy that too after, after I think maybe for nine months or ten months I think I was uh, I didn't get any response it was kept on hold and uh, uh, the US authorities were convinced my credentials and uh, they found that I'm authentic I'm a nervous veteran then I was given a visa of uh, I think four to five months I thought that uh, I would get visa for uh, five or ten years, <laughs> but I got only for two to five months. So after struggling so much, I got only visa for uh, uh, four to five months. So it was of no use for me. I think it happened during the first lockdown. So after the brainstorm again. I applied it took more than a year that means one year three months or so then I did uh, and I, I I had biometric prints then again I attended a visa interview and after grilling for 10 minutes uh, at the by the visa officer she she to, told me to collect after verifying certain uh, uh, documents uh, then uh, and I when I then I got uh, my visa I was very I was very much excited and I got a visa for 10 years I was on cloud 9 uh, when I got a uh, yes visa stamped so in my life, always I have to struggle. Things don't fall into the place. I have to persist. I'll I'll find uh, so many challenges, obstacles in my life. But ultimately, I achieve and succeed. So this happens in my horoscope. It happens in my life life also. So this is the story. And after that, my younger son um, arranged tickets, everything. And we came to USA for the first time. And uh, this was the story of uh, my entering into uh, USA. America is a land of opportunities. America is a land of immigrants. America is a land of uh, dreams. So America is a great country like India. And... Uh, uh, India and uh, America have one common thing that is democracy. We both uh, uh, emphasize uh, uh, democracy. India is the biggest democracy and America is the oldest democracy in the world. India, uh, America is the number one country in the world. And India is the largest populated country in the uh, world. So, so there are so many things, commonalities between uh, America and India. Yeah, now let me start my own story. It's very beautiful uh, place. Uh. Yeah. <coughs> in uh, Seattle weather changes drastically sometimes uh, dizzling sometimes raining sometimes foggy uh, but overall uh, uh, weather is very pleasant in Seattle and Seattle is one of the finest cities uh, in USA 
of course it is uh, less costlier than new york new york is i think uh, high cost cost of living is very high so first time i came to uh, usa i think uh, this will be the last visit to uh, for to usa i don't think i will come back again i i, I don't think again i'll come to india i think i'll i don't think i'll come to usa second time so i'll go back to india and enjoy my own country i love my country i'm a na- nationalist i'm an indian air force veteran i'm proud of my own country uh, india is uh, great not because of uh, money and wealth but india is uh, great because of values culture and uh, india emphasizes vasu deva kutumbakam that means the entire world is one family that the greatness of uh, 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 india once upon a time india was very rich but again british colonized things changed wars so so many challenges and uh, india is still a developing country hopefully by 2047 india will become a uh, developed country i am very optimistic and bullish about uh, india and there are some strengths with uh, india india is the fifth largest economy i think the other economies uh, i perhaps first is uh, uh, america then china japan germany and fifth is uh, india which is the uh, fifth biggest econ- economy in the world so there are so many opportunities for india because india's biggest strength is that uh, we have population more than 50% especially young pop- population that means millennials and centennials so they are leading from the front so it's a great opportunity for indians to lead and also especially centennials i mean gen z are very smart and brilliant i think they will lead in a, our country in the right way so overall i am very happy and i am a generation x and i am 61 years old with uh, uh, so many challenges <laughs> yeah i i was born uh, uh, in the year 1963 uh, uh, october uh, uh, 31st in a tiny village and in a toxic environment toxin family and at the age of 18 i joined the indian air force i was really lucky that i joined indian air force i was passionate about uh, serving my country so i got a opportunity from indian air, uh, air force to join indian air force and after i joined indian air force i i evolved as a healthy citizen and grew as a, a, a healthy citizen and grew as a leader i at the age of 18 i i discontinued uh, my degree bsc due to financial challenges at home my parents were not able to fund so other challenges i joined in air force and after i joined in air force i sent my money uh, i think the first salary was around 400 rupees i sent every month money to my uh, parents to support with little money i supported and uh, gave my money for buying gold and gave money for constructing uh, house a part uh, the first floor then so many things i did unfortunately my own uh, family members uh, 
backstabbed and uh, betrayed so lots of challenges so that's why i don't uh, encourage and entertain my uh, um, family members and uh, so many challenges i had i had uh, uh, i did business uh, which didn't work out because of uh, uh, backstabbing of by my father in law and brother in law so these are all uh, uh, the things uh, i'm sharing with you come ah good good okay now crossing the lane we have to cross the lane we can't just walk uh, just like that we have to follow the rules and regulations in usa things are very strict if you don't follow the rules and regulations there will be a penalty okay uh, then uh, after i joined the indian air force and uh, for 12 years i was in the indian air force i discontinued my degree at the age of 18 then again i continued by paying uh, fee and uh, then uh, did uh, attended uh, tuitions uh, for two months and i cleared uh, papers and became a graduate so my education was basically private education and correspondence uh, courses I acquired a couple of qualifications uh, 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 they are uh, dme bsc mba pgd cll pgd bm and Uh, after uh, having all these qualifications i i i joined business for uh, i think 13 to 14 years which didn't work out then i joined as a faculty member in the year uh, 2007 and when i had uh, business challenges uh, then education came in my support education is very much powerful people think only academic education education is not only a, a, not only academic education having an education helps you education is a, a the w- window to the world so you should have education so at that when i had uh, adversity the education helped me because i was already an mba that also i acquired through private education i mean through correspondence course uh, igno newly then i became a faculty member and uh, uh, i was getting i think around 9000 to 10000 i think uh, salary uh, then in the 2007 itself uh, at the end of uh, december uh, 2007 uh, i applied for uh, phd at the end of uh, december uh, 2007 i think the amount was around uh, 9000 or 10000 that i uh, that was the pi i i fee i i paid then very next uh, year that means 2008 uh, things have changed rules have changed so that's why, that's why my friends whatever you get avail the opportunities we don't know whether we get the similar opportunities next time there is nothing like right time whatever the opportunities you get them avail them because we don't know uh, the same opportunities will come again so whatever you come accept this is what i have been doing whatever was available like whether it is uh, becoming an indian air force uh, uh as an airman or uh, uh whatever was there uh, whatever was available i availed grabbed then uh, 2011 i got uh, my phd in soft skills 
the 2010 i then i became an author i started writing books and uh, i didn't know anything about uh, teaching uh, i discovered my passion for uh, teaching from uh, in the year 2007 and students loved me and they give they gave me a title as professor ms rao born for the students and i have a blog by name by the same name so then i uh, 2010 i started writing uh, books and i uh, published 53 books uh, which are of different genre like uh, uh, teaching training education diversity mindfulness executive education then i want to write a memoir uh, probably this will be the last book in my life uh, uh, it's a memoir uh, tentatively t uh, titled it as survivor so that the title is survivor i am the survivor because i survived from the brain stroke so i will uh, uh, once i get back get back to the feet once i start uh, recovering from my brain stroke fully i'll be able to type with my right hand and i'll be able to eat with my right hand then i will start uh, writing a memoir and uh, publish where i would like to sh share my challenges uh, and troubles betrayals by my family members rogue relatives everything i would like to share i would like to share my experiences in a brain stroke uh, at the time of a brain stroke in the year 2021 i was like a fish in the water out of the water very uh, typical situation uh, doctors thought that i won't survive because at that time the situation was very uh, critical uh, basically there were no cylinders and uh, we didn't have money at that time uh, my wife and i had uh, covid and i had a long covid and i thought i was recovering from uh, covid suddenly i collapsed in the year uh, 2021 I, I think in the month of may i think may 10 or 10 or 11 Then uh, there were no uh, sufficient beds and uh, hospitals were blackmailing the situation. It was the second lockdown in India. So lots of challenges. Uh, I think half, half crore uh, Indians died because of the COVID. So now I want to go back. So you can see the view of uh, Seattle from here so I want to go, go back okay. uh, so uh, when I collapsed uh, uh, due to brain stroke in the hospital three I was shifted to three ambulances very critical lack of uh, cylinders lack of money And uh, there, uh, there was a guy who was in the ICU, he died. So when, when I opened my eyes, I, saw, I found a dead body kept in ice box. I came to know that he was dead. And I, at the same, same day, next to that day, a guy died out because of COVID, which I came to know after six or seven months when uh, uh, his wife, deceased uh, person's wife, informed me. I felt very bad. Covid uh, taught me se several lessons. Covid taught the world how frizzle the life is. So don't take life for granted. Life is beautiful. 
Life is amazing. Life is creative. Life is a miracle. Life is a great. Life is a magic. So be positive. My blood group is be positive, and I am positive by nature. So now I am slowly returning home. I think it's 25 minutes now. I think it will take 25 minutes. So it may take 50 minutes for me. So I am enjoying the nature and recording my a story of my life. And I will upload after two or three hours. After the brain stroke, uh, I came out of the brain uh, from the hospital and I took physiotherapy exercises. I was, uh, I was, I, my, my, I, I had uh, blurred vision. I was not able to understand what was going on after the brain stroke. So the challenges only I know it because I experienced literally I came out of death more than 10 times I came out of the uh, death I kissed death more than 10 times in my life so I came out victorious from COVID-19 that is a brain stroke so that means I was born to do something big. I was born to do something big, add value and make a difference in the lives of others. I am very optimistic by nature. I am persistent by nature. If there is any word that can be defined in my life is I am persistent by nature. Be persistent. Never give up. Life is all about possibilities. Now I am storing, I am recording my stories and making making them viral. Because if one of the one of my stories go viral, that will inspire the world. That serves that serves that serves my purpose, and that makes world a better place it will inspire uh, others so i am in the process of uh, creating stories and sharing stories to humankind uh, with a, a dream and with a hope of uh, uh, leaving my legacy I am uh, sharing my videos with a legacy for the next generations. My stories must impact the world. They must, others must know the kind of challenges I underwent in my life, the kind of struggles I entered, uh, the, the, the kind of struggles I experienced and encountered. I would like to share. So friends, please share uh, my videos. Sometimes I am uh, st stammering, sometimes I am talking very slowly. So please bear with me and uh, add to that uh, I, I don't know vi video editing, I am just uploading raw videos. So please empathize with me. Please bear with me. So the message with everyone is that what can't be cured must be endured. In the sense, I so many problems I am having, so many challenges. I am enduring the pain of life. I am enduring, I am enduring the pain of betrayals because of my relatives. I am very lucky that I have got good friends in India. 
they helped me so i am grateful to my friends i was cursed with uh, rogue relatives and blessed with great friends for me friendship is thicker than blood i stick to my statement friendship is thicker than blood why i say the, is that relatives will have more jealous than friends friends hardly have any jealous they want to help they can't help at least they they don't do any harm they stay away and uh, they keep quiet but uh, in my own uh, memory or in my life it's a uh, different so keep sharing my stories see here okay now again i am circling back to my story here people are very happy and they follow multiple passions america is rich of course they have their own health challenges in uh, america has uh, mal- ma- america has the challenges also main thing mental illness is one challenge suicides are raising divorces are increasing of course the same the situation in india also so the world has changed people have changed technology is good and bad it all depends on how you take it so harness technology embrace technology embrace change lead from the front add value and make a difference life is great these are the messages i am sharing with my audiences I think here there is a gym or something like that. Larry, this is the place. Again, I have to come back. It looks that uh, in America, Americans have more cars than uh, people. <laughs> Why? Because... if a wife and as husband work they will have their own cars then they have uh, extra cars of course it's a metaphor holding uh, my uh, smartphone with my left hand is very stressful and painful and i can't shift with my right hand because my right hand is numb and there is no sense to my right shoulder for more than 3 years i am having this problem i don't know when i will be able to overcome numbness when i will be able to uh uh Uh, eat with my right hand and uh, type with my right hand hopefully things will fall into the place it's a matter of time i'm very positive because my blood group is b positive the quality of life in uh, america is far far better that the reason many indians uh, uh uh india there are many indians they are applying for uh, uh us visa so that they can lead a better life quality life 
even the rich people also they want to come to us yeah, and enjoy a quality life so that at least their next generation will lead a better life quality life so this uh, current generation of uh, youth they are uh, striving to acquire uh, us visa and for themselves and they come to india and uh, if they have children their children uh, born the, the children who are born in uh, america are are american citizens so like that uh, so many some of the indians who are married are uh, indians by citizenship but their children are american citizenship because they were born in uh, uh america uh, the challenges with uh, india right now is that uh, corruption is a big challenge black money is a problem bureaucracy is a problem but i think uh, things are falling into the place young people are uh, uh, redefining re- redefining india and uh, they are exploring majority of the people they are very ambitious and they want to impact and uh, they want to uh, build the next generation of leaders uh, very few people are very neg- negative uh, that is the problem with some negative mindset uh, people in india so i uh, when i taught uh, my students uh, Uh, more than uh, sharing my knowledge i want to build a very positive attitude uh, uh, in my students and my, in my audience so i emphasize on uh, attitude attitude is everything that matters a lot so have a right attitude so that you can grow as a healthy citizen of any country so i started vision 2030 1 million global leaders uh, for that book uh, dr kiran bedi the first uh, woman ips officer has written a foreword and she also invited me to for a guest, a guest lecture uh, in puducherry i think 5 years back and uh, and uh, that that book titled vision 2030 1 million global leaders uh, that i have dedicated to dr apj abdul kalam because i admire him a lot like that i i keep dedica- dedicating my books to some leaders so one of the books titled uh, student leaders that i have dedicated to swami vivekananda on the eve of 150th birthday anniversary so i i want to encourage youth students because the future lies in the hands of uh, youth so friends uh, indians especially uh, millennials and centennials are born at the right po- right time in the world so they should uh, develop a positive attitude strong attitude right attitude so that they can grow for themselves and also they can groom others as leaders and they can build the next generation of leaders so there is a huge potential in youth whether they are whether they are from india or from america or any country i am telling uh, to all youth across the world all youth across the world have the potential develop a right attitude positive attitude strong attitude so that you can lead from the front you can build a next generation of leaders and uh, uh, one more thing i would like to emphasize is that uh it is success with integrity you have to be very ethical and mindful so that you can be successful some of the people are very over ambitious which is very problematic when you are over ambitious you you are likely to cut corners so don't go for uh, over ambition go for only pure ambition be ambitious be authentic emphasize humanity embrace change embrace technology 
and emphasize uh, Vasudeva Kutumbakam. Vasudeva Kutumbakam means the entire world is a small family. We are our, the world, the planet is a small family. So we take uh, 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 Indians, uh, India in a very positive perspective. So despite having uh, so many differences within India, uh, we are all uh, Indians at heart. And uh, so uh, India is a land of uh, uh, unity and diversity. There are so many cultures, uh, religions, uh, languages. Every, every after 100 uh, kilometers, you will find different people, different people with different cultures, different dialects. So, so many challenges. But despite all the ch differences, we Indians are one. Look at the similarities, not the differences. Look at the similarities, not the differences. So, friends, uh, I, uh, now again, uh, when I started, it was uh, pleasant. Uh, weather was pleasant, now it is drizzling. So here, as I said, uh, Seattle is a city of contrast. Sometimes it is dizzy, drizzling. Sometimes uh, uh, it rains. Sometimes it's cloudy. Uh, sometimes weather is uh, pleasant. So this is uh, this is uh, the uniqueness of uh, Seattle. Seattle is known as uh, Emerald City. Here, uh, farmers are plow plowing, they are gardening. Actually, gardening is a stress buster. I wanted to have my own uh, plot, construct a uh, own house some um, 34 years back after I got married. Things went out of my control. I don't own, I don't have any uh, uh, flat now. Hopefully, if I earn money, and uh, make money so uh, my wife and i will have an independent uh, villa and uh, live there very peacefully so of course man proposes and god disposes we are these are all uh, to do lists we don't know whether they will materialize or not but we are very optimistic life itself is uh, optimism life thrives on op optimism so we live with optimism so avoid cynicism, avoid negativity, be positive, uh, be ambitious and enjoy the journey. People often complain about their unpleasant uh, past. So uh, what I would like to say is that real strength is not uh, whining, real strength is not uh, complaining. Real strength is not uh, criticizing. Real strength is not uh, condemning. Real strength is to uh, empathizing with others, adding value and making a difference in the lives of others. This is my definition of uh, uh, life. So let me re repeat this my statement. Real leadership is not about uh, 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 complaining real leadership is not about uh, condemning real leadership is not about criticizing real leadership is not about complaining the real leadership is, is empathizing with others touching the lives of others adding value and making a difference in the lives of others this is the my own definition of uh, leadership i have uh, i published uh, 53 books uh, some of the books are about soft leadership so i so lots of uh, triggers flash on my mind and i jot down and i have a diary since my childhood i used to write on a pen not a diary a diary i used to write but after technology things have changed so 
things have changed and now i am not able to type and write but okay but still i am uh, making notes uh, uh, ma main points on uh, uh, whatsapp uh, messages i am writing down then again i will copy and paste to the uh, word document then i will take them forward so this is how i am doing so friends if you like my video please share with your networks i have three youtube channels i have four blogs i'm very strong on social media especially on linkedin and i have amazon account and uh, i believe in acquiring knowledge and sharing my knowledge above all i am a storyteller i think now time is 45 minutes so let me see it's uh, dizzling so i have to rush back rush back so it's very painful and stressful holding with my left hand it's a very so friends it's very challenging so you can see a beautiful garden uh a beautiful garden where my son lives here and uh, he has uh, two cats bagira and mogli two cats he has got he has and he is caring for their uh, two cats so once once he, he could care his two cats you can imagine how much my son cares my two sons me and my wife so be positive life is an echo if you do good good will come back to you if you do bad bad will come back to you universe is great whatever you give you will give so do good so that good 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 will come back this is the message i would like to share so in this garden uh, uh apples are there very good it's a very big place very spacious and uh, now it's dizzling i'll go back it's, it's very cold also here it's getting cold and you can see apple also here in india means people will pluck and eat pluck from even trees they eat but here it's not like that so friends you can see the you can see the view of uh, the garden and other places in and around so enjoy the journey so don't think about your unpleasant past because people often think uh, people often waste 30% of their precious time thinking about their unpleasant past which will never come back so don't think too much about the future especially in view of the uh, post covid uh, situation because life is very precious so don't worry too much about uh, don't worry about uh, future too much learn to live in the present because the only thing you have at your hand is cash that cash means not uh, uh money i am telling you uh, the only thing which you have right now is living in the present which is the cash nowadays people don't have cash also they are having everything online so enjoy the journey uh, i am uh, professor ms rao i am signing off please subscribe to my youtube channel with gratitude